Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ryan from Resale Samway. We had a really, really good weekend on eBay. $1,317.28. Uh, always good to be over that like $1,200 number for the weekend. We have 29 eBay orders that I'm going to pull on camera here. It is just me and Kabas is under the table right there, laying down in Luna's bed. It's just me and Kabas here today. Uh, Paul, unfortunately, has to do another round of chemo today, so... He won't be here. I'm gonna pull these orders, show you what we sold, and then uh, I think I have, oh, let me show you one thing real quick. Um, March wrapped up. I think it's like, what is it? April 8th now. I just wanted to show you guys the totals here. Um, the total for YouTube, $282.60 in March. So that's obviously a lot better. The previous month was just $111. We don't plan, it's gonna drop back down uh, pretty pretty well. Um, we had that one vi video do really well where we got, you all right, Kabas? I thought it was him whining. I think it might be a bird outside though, actually. Um, we had one video do really well for us in the month of March, and we got like seven, 800 subs from just that one video. So that spiked our YouTube totals. Um, so far in April, it slowed down. I think last week we made like like 25 bucks or something. That I was on vacation, so there was less videos and stuff. But um, that number is kind of going to kind of be an outlier. But it did help us out tremendously. I think this morning we started out with 3,700 subs. So if you uh, like eBay reseller type content, um, go ahead and subscribe with us down below. Join the channel. And we try to put out as much content as we possibly can getting into garage sale season here pretty soon so hopefully we can show you guys some different type videos or at least show you some hauls or something uh like i said 29 orders for 1317 dollars we do have a really big one in there um for those of you who keep track we got gi joe sales going out actually we just picked up another sale so 30 sales let's see what it changes to 30 sales for $1,335.70. Um, we have a lot of different buys that we label. We have the G.I. Joe's buy. We have the Star Wars buy. Um, the Nova buy really did well this weekend. Um, that's the one where we drove down to Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, spent $1,600, I believe, plus another $600 on some guns that we picked up down there. Uh, that deal's been doing really well. I think we've already got like $3,500 in return. And we still have a ton of stuff over there to list, so um, should be pretty good. Let's see here. This first one that sold um, might take me a second to find because it's in one of these uh, crates, so I'll be right back with the album. All right, I'm back. I finally found it. This is the one that just came through. It is Elvis, Burning Love. The hits from his movies right there. It is brand new sealed. And it sold for $16.71 with free shipping. A uh, little foreshadowing right there. That's the big order. I'll come back to that though. Uh, D5. Um, this is actually just... My daughter got rid of a ton of books from her room. There's another set right there. That one's Horrible Henry that hasn't sold yet. This one, though, is going to be a lot from the Magic School Bus. I think there's there's seven of them. Uh, a lot of them up together. They just sold for $6 plus shipping. Um, nothing too much there, but I used to pick up tons of uh, little books like that or little book sets for my daughter at garage sales. And just, you know, she's outgrown them now. She's 12, so there's a lot of, a lot of books that she's been giving away. Uh, I think I made a Goosebumps lot, a Junie B. Jones lot, Horrible Henry lot, a Magic School Bus lot, just anything I could lot up. I typically do that with those smaller books anyway. Here's a really good sale. And like I said, the Nova buy came through tremendously for us. Here's a really good sale from that buy. I'm going to pull out both of them here. Try to do this without breaking them. All right, they're right here. Pair of vintage Art Deco style Royal Hager Gazelle. These are 15 inches tall. Uh, nice vases right there. Um, 
Yeah, Paul listed these. Just one of the things that we grabbed. Not something we typically look up, but when we were down there making that big buy, just grabbed anything that looked cool. Um, pretty cool, though. This one did have one tiny chip right there. Other, and obviously, we noted that. Uh, other than that, though, these were in really nice condition. That set right there just sold for $80 plus shipping. So uh, that's a really good one from the Nova buy right there. Very happy that sale came through. I don't think, I can't remember if there was any sets listed. I know he found like each of those individually, I think for like 50 or 60 bucks, and then he put them together for 80 with the chip and end up selling. So uh, very happy on that. Okay, you got a little one here, D2. Let's see, it looks like it's right here. Yep, so this is going to be this uh, Disney, Pris uh, Disney Princess Children's Watch there, LCD. We can't test these ones, but they are brand new. Um, you can switch it out and put a different princess on there. $10 free shipping. We'll make like 4 or $5 on that. Uh, let's see, D24. This is going to be from the parted out water moccasin. It wasn't complete, so Paul decided to part it out. See if I can find it. it. Looks like this right here. Yep, this is going to be um, the fan fin rudder with shroud right there. This came from the water moccasin GI Joe vehicle. It doesn't say a year on that. I'm not sure what year the water moccasin was. Uh, Paul listed this. This is going international. This sold for twenty six dollars and thirty nine cents with free shipping just for those parts. Um, it, it, it'll say buyer paid shipping in the screenshot. That's just because it's an international sale. Over here, D7. These are always pretty cool to sell. We sold off a bunch of them. Um, this is one of the last ones, I think. Uh, action Outfits. It's not in a perfect condition or anything, but it is brand new sealed. Um, this is the uh, skydiving one. 1970, let me see here, how come I can't, it says fits G.I. Joe, Mr. Action, and other 12 inch figures, let me click on it here to see the year, 1975, uh, this sold for 12, or sorry, $20.23 um, plus shipping on that one, sorry my brain's malfunctioning today, okay above Paul, be that big one right there so let's go find the ladder no idea where that is still have no idea okay it's gonna be over by the heater i bet yep there it is still got the heater cranking up here in new york it's gonna be nicer this week though thankfully okay it's always nice to get a bigger piece out the door it's gonna be this one right here Try to do it one-handed without falling off a ladder. Okay, Captain Tarples and Kadu. Not sure if that's how it's pronounced. I always butcher the Star Wars names. Brand new in its package from 2000. This sold for $30 plus shipping. And like I said, it's always nice to get big pieces out like that. Especially with all the buys we made over the last two months. Okay, next, from the Nova buy, yet again, I should mention that came from the Star Wars buy, obviously. Okay, we got this Pig Nose guitar amp here. Battery powered, it is pretty beat. Um, got some rust, got some marks. Um, Paul listed this, I could have tested it in the house, but he listed it for parts only. Battery operated there, it also has a 12 volt port, port there. Um, he listed this and is going international for parts only, $32 plus shipping. So, you know, from the Nova buy again, just grabbing pieces up. Next, we got a viewer sale. Carl, thank you very much. He is somewhat local. He's a fellow New Yorker. Uh, he picked up our last Steve Martin record album here. It is brand new sealed. It is notched from being uh, on sale or discounted back in the day. But still brand new sealed. And that's sold for $11 with free shipping. Carl, thank you very much. 
Uh, we'll get that shipped out to you. Try to remember to include a couple of stickers here. Let me see if I can get them. Try to make sure I don't forget that. Appreciate that. Appreciate you watching too. Okay, Nova again, turnstile. We're gonna have a slot car this time. I think it's gonna be this one. Right here. Little fella in there. Vintage Aurora T-Jet. This is a McLaren. This sold for $47.49 with free shipping. Needs a screw to hold it together there, but other than that, it's nice condition. Slot cars, we love them. People have asked about the slot cars, like what they are. You can see the little metal connections there on the bottom, but uh. Okay, from the Nova Buy again on E. It is going to be right here. 2001 Hess truck helicopter with motorcycle and cruiser. That sold for $17 plus shipping. Um, do have another Hess truck going out later and then I'll talk about those a little bit. Okay, next we got a dinger sale, well over 100. It's gonna be these three pieces right here, all going out to the same buyer. Uh, the main piece is right there in the middle. That is going to be 1993 Gung Ho G.I. Joe. You can see it's from Brazil. You can see the, uh, you know, it's got foreign language on it and stuff. That one, I think, of this lot was right at just over 100 bucks, I think, for that piece alone. The one on the right here is one of the fun school. It is Beachhead. Brand new sealed, and that is the Russian variant there. I think that was just over $66. And this was also just over $66. Uh, we had like six or seven of these. This is the last one to go out. 1991 Headhunter uh, Narcotics Guard there. That was also just over $66. Total order, $233.29 plus shipping on that. Um, they picked them all up and then I sent them an invoice with the combined shipping because a couple of these did have plus shipping on them. So I saved them a little bit of money. I think it's going out to Maryland. Thank you very much for that purchase if you watch these videos. Next is over here. We have four of these. Um, I should also mention the reason I had those G.I. Joes uh, pulled out already um, is because I did a little YouTube short about some of the sales from this weekend. And actually I did a couple YouTube shorts. And just bear in mind, I've been doing that a lot. I tried to, I wanna mention it in a few of these videos just so people understand why we're doing it. Some of the stuff you see in this video are also gonna be in YouTube shorts two, three, four weeks from now, just cause I'm trying to put out that type of video too, to draw as many people to the channel. So, uh, It'll be like duplicate info, you know, short form, like a minute or whatever. But, uh, you know, just uh, just so everyone knows, not trying to like duplicate it for any other reason, just to get other people here. Uh, these two star pools, I forgot what year, 1982 on these. We got two of them going out to one person. It's these Marilyn Monroe, and they're like uh, window wavers. You can see the hand there, put her face in the window. Someone picked up two of them. $22.86 plus shipping. And I think we have, yeah, we got two more left in there too. Okay, we got a small small purchase going out here. It's one of these Balik little like creamer pitchers. B-E-L-L-E-E-K, Balik. They are super, super light and um, Eleven dollars and forty-three cents with free shipping, so it'll it'll ship for like five bucks or so. That we did have a quantity on that. I think there was two or three left up there, and we also have sold two or three. That's part of the reason we listed that one for so cheap. I always like those quantity sales. Seven A. It's gonna be this and these two, I believe. Okay, this is gonna be Vintage Lot of Three, Disney, Mickey and Minnie. Let's see here. They're like little address books. There's Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and then uh, Donald Duck. So those three, it's all lotted up together. So for $12.53, 
plus shipping on those. This is actually sold before, but they never paid. So happy it's going out this time. And we'll put it on the Hess truck. That came from Dan's, also from Dan's. 6B, there's a drawer above it. It's gonna be one of these Royal Limited. We have it as, um, when these three are gone, to relist it, because this box is shot on this one. It's one of these keepsake boxes. Royal Limited, it's like this jeweled frog right there. We sold like two or three, they're kind of slow movers, but this one sold for $12.31 plus shipping. We have another one of these Hall of Fame, John Greenleaf Whittier, right here, John Greenleaf Whittier, Hall of Fame of Great Americans coins, right there, sold a bunch of them, Captain Billy picks up a bunch of these, this isn't him this time, this is a different buyer, this one sold for $21.11 with uh, free shipping on that one. Okay, next, 4B. Here's a freaking anti-danger. Let's see here. So this is when I first started listing the G.I. Joe's separately from the G.I. Joe buy. I must have listed this for $9.99 with free shipping and it got caught up in the 12% off sale. Um, I can't remember if this one had a crack on it or if it was just cheaper. But uh, yeah, $8.79 with free shipping. I wouldn't list something like that that low again. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we'll probably make like three or four bucks on that. I mean, it'll ship super light. Oh, I should mention, 1991. Uh, this is Ninja Force T-Bang. I don't know how to pronounce that. T-J-Bang. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh make a couple bucks on that let's see next here okay nova buy told you there was a bunch of nova buys in here this is going to be another one it's this right here vintage daisy and button ruby red glass crimped edge nice little piece there didn't have any markings or anything i'm not sure let me see if i let me just check the title again yeah, Amberina Base Glows. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. But nice little glass piece there. We grabbed a bunch of the glass pieces from the Nova Buy. We're not experts on glass at all. So, you know, I'd like to give you more info on it. But we sold it $14 plus shipping. 2A. Got another international sale. This is going to be free shipping, but it will say plus shipping again. It's going to be this 1977 Wallace Silversmith's Easter Egg. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, seven, $16.71 with free shipping on this piece. It's just like a sterling silver uh, plated Easter Egg. But um, happy that's going out the door. Those are slow movers as well. Okay, I need the ladder again. We are going to go up above my desk. Without falling, hopefully. Is it this one? ATAP Walker. So this is a good one here. 30th anniversary. I love selling these vehicles from the Star Wars buy. $76 um, plus shipping. This was opened, but you can see in the screenshot that all the pieces were still zip tied in and all the and taped and like Literally, it was just a box open, new with open box. I have the same one there. It's missing one piece, so I just have it set off to the side. It's missing this little piece on the other side. So hopefully when I find that, up, that'll be another 60, 70 bucks for us, but $76 plus shipping on this one. So very nice. Let's see here, next EE. -E. We have another. Is this going to be toy truck and helicopter? Are they all toy truck and helicopter? Yeah, he put different ones on here, so we gotta be careful. Is this toy truck and helicopter in 1995? Yep, okay, it's this one. Uh, $14 plus shipping, so I'll put that away from the other Hess truck. With Hess trucks, 
We have had some sell really good for us in the past. I'm talking like over $30. We don't deal with them though unless they're brand new sealed. Like not or like brand new, they're never gonna really gonna be sealed. Um but we typically let me find some better light here. We typically won't deal with them unless we open them up and they've never been taken out and uh, we didn't even really want to buy them from the Nova buy, but he said if we buy the toys, all the Hess trucks have to come too. And there was a bunch of them. It looked like they were all used. So we were like, all right, we'll take them. Uh, it turns out like a dozen of them or so were like brand new in the box. So, you know, 14 bucks for that one. What was the other one earlier? 16 bucks or something, 17 bucks. So it was worth it for the new ones. I mean, if you're picking up those brand new in the box for two bucks or something at a garage sale i would pick them up just to make 10 bucks here and there but don't go out there buying a gajillion hess trucks just because we you know sold a couple here okay we got a really nice sale here this is also an international sale this is also going to be free shipping and this is already opened it's back here this is the Ace Fighter Pilot 1988. This is the Malloway version. Uh, it's still got his card all uncut. This has never been opened. Um, this pilot right here from the GI Joe buy sold for $75 with free shipping. So another really good return on that GI Joe buy. Next here is going to be a loose vehicle that does not have the box like the other two Star Wars. That we've sold this one here is going to be the tx 130 2009 republic fighter tank um, this sold for 25 dollars plus shipping i'm happy that sold too because i slammed my shoulder on it like three times i had it facing the other way it was sticking out like that far and i'd hit it so glad that's gone okay wire rack lot number one Let's see it's not that one i'll put it up higher so paul can't reach that <laughs> so this is gonna be lot one it is a cardboard box labeled number one and that's sold for 15 dollars plus shipping just kidding that is 20 new hot wheels mixed lot right there i'll set them up here because they are ready to ship out those 20 hot wheels also came from the nova buy and those sold for 15 dollars plus shipping so the last lot we had I think that's a lot of 12 that Paul has listed for like 10 bucks or something. So we're waiting for that one to still go out. T2, got a little vase. Let's see. I think it's going to be this one. I always got to double check with the sizes on these because we have so many vases. I believe it's this one though. Looks just like it. I'll have to double check before I send it out. Lennox Small Masterpiece Embossed Floral Vase was originally $44 from Kaufman's. We just sold it for $7.51 plus shipping. Tons of that stuff came from Dan's. Uh, always happy when a glass piece goes out. Another one from the Nova Buy. Drawer 35. Okay, this does not have the best box, but it has it. Is that it? Yep. Matchbox Super Kings K19 security truck it says Fort Knox there. It has to do with a bunch of gold. You can see the box is pretty beat up. But it sold uh $24 plus shipping. It sold really well actually. I'll take $24 for that all day long. J2. Kabasa is being good today. You alright, bud? <laughs> Usually he's whining by now. J2. We had two of these. This is the last one to go out. This is that George's Briard, the glass stirrer set. Um, for those of you who watched our older videos, you might have seen us sell like double old fashioned glasses. Kind of like uh, those ones right there with the anchors on them. Uh, that brand right there is really good. These stirrer sets by themselves sold for $30 with free shipping. They are really light. Uh, so make like 25 on that. D36, a little leftover from a big garage sale, but it is not there. I must have put it up on the, uh, yep, it's right here on the end. Got this Vera Bradley bag. Always happy when this kind of stuff goes out. Um, this was a lesser desired one and more used. We had a whole bunch of them. Half of them had their tags still. This is just one leftover piece. 
So for $10.55 plus shipping on that. Very happy that's going out actually. And 9B. Got one of these little Star Wars figures. I always got to make sure we grab the right one. It looks to be this one. Let's make sure. Yep, it's this one. This is from the Titanium series. This is the Imperial Imperial Star Detro Destroyer Cruiser with stand. And that sold for $15 with free shipping. It's basically just a little loose die cast piece there from Star Wars. And that is going to be it for the sales. Um, let's see if any anything else came through. Nope, nothing else came through. So that's going to be it. Uh, was it 1335? Happy with those sales. Hopefully, Paul's with me in the next video. Um, it always it seems weird doing like four or five videos with him, and then every two weeks I have to do one by myself because he's getting chemo. So it's weird not having that dynamic talking back and forth. Uh, we do have a couple more uh, subscriber locations. Uh, they commented Stanley, New York, so pretty local. And then we have Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So thank you both for uh, commenting on the, the video and letting us know where you're subscribed from. Um, I'll be checking the P.O. box today too. Maybe we have some more state magnets that are come, have come in. Uh, we went to a different post office Friday, so we weren't able to check our P.O. box. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, reseller content, uh, please subscribe down below. Give us a like, give us a comment, ask your questions. Let us know what you think. Uh, today is the day of the eclipse here in New York. So I'm going to ship out all this stuff and then I'm going to go uh, view it with the kids. Um, should be interesting. There's already been like a tons of helicopters flying over the shop this morning and stuff. It's kind of weird. A little weird. Uh, not like conspiracy. I'm not like worried about it or anything, but it, <laughs> it's kind of weird. You see all these traffic signs saying expect delays and then you got all these like doomsday people talking about stuff. So maybe it is. Maybe I won't even have to edit this video. So we'll see. Uh, if you're watching this, though, everything went swimmingly. So please comment down below. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Say Resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.